please, sir. <coughs> Mr. Sauron, 380 Profit Lane. Uh, I've been away for quite a while, and I don't know what's happened with the fish pen situation, but uh, I would like to mention a few things. That there's nothing against the fish pens that I object to. It's being in the water that I object to. Upland is perfectly good. Uh, we've worked very hard to get the water in Puget Sound clean and to take the chance that we may inadvertently by letting business come in that doesn't want to spend the extra money for upland to ruin what we've worked very hard. Now, I don't, I, like I say, I've been gone for call out. I don't know what your position on it is, but I just got back from Texas and they run into a little problem down there in the Gulf. F uh, shrimp that are farmed, that are Asian shrimp, they grow the 13 inches in length have escaped and they're harvesting these shrimp or eating other shrimp ravenously crabs clams you name it they're eating it so they're having a hell of a problem right now trying to figure out what they're going to do with it and i don't know the whole detail because it was just a paragraph in the newspaper in the houston newspaper but i do believe that we should err in the side of caution with these fish pens and there are other options there's a Good article in Time Magazine last August that came out about the man who is fish farming in Massachusetts, upland. Uh, and the water is as clean when he puts it back in the water. And right now, uh, my septic system has to be better than what the fish pens drop down in the water. So I just think that we should be very, very careful in wh whichever direction we go, because I don't know what I can say. I've been going for quite a while. And I've enjoyed it, but anyhow, I, I, that's all I have to say. That we should err in the side of caution before we uh, let somebody go and bring in something that we, ten years from now, say, "Oh my, we made a mistake." You know, so it's harder to correct the mistake than it is to have the problem at the beginning. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Let's see. We've, uh, <clears throat> Anyone else like to uh, speak this morning? Then I will close. <laughs>